Good morning, lovelies. It is Monday. Um, it's, it's a Monday in April. It's the 17th or the 18th. I'm not quite sure. Um, so I actually went out today. I don't really have the money to do this, nor can I afford the calories right now. But something told me that it was worth it and I needed something quick and easy to post for content because that is what this is. It's quick, it's easy, it's content, and I know that it will get the views in time. <sighs> and I know that I haven't been very active lately. Um, I've only got 23 subscribers. I know, I know. You guys were really wondering where I was at because you're all so responsive. Actually, there are a few of them that are really responsive. I don't even know if the people who comment on my stuff are subscribed or not. But, well, I'm here. I'm back. My hair is pink. I've dyed it twice before. It's already washed out twice before because um, that's what light colors do. And there's a lot in life to update on, but most of you are probably only going to be here to see what I'm reviewing today. And if you are interested in seeing me review that Strawberry Shortcake McFlurry, I was kind of hesitant to do it at first because I, I'm not a big fan of the McFlurries. Their add-ins just don't go well. Usually with the ice cream, I was really let down to Oreos. I think it was off-brand. I don't know. There's something about, like, some of the restaurants in the area, like the chains, their uh, vendors or something, I don't think they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. Like, even the meat in Taco Bell does not taste right. I don't know if it's just me. I don't think that it is. I'm surprised they get as much business as they do, but so I just, I don't really go out to eat. <laughs> Not like that. But yeah, if you're interested, I will be doing that review, I think on Friday in a short because in order for that to give use, I've got to put it in a short. <clears throat> it's a new item. These cookies are recurring, so... This is gonna hold up over time, whereas the strawberry shortcake, probably not so much. And I don't really need all that extra sugar and calories in this particular video. So I'm gonna do that later this week, a lot later than everybody else, as per usual. So here I have got the four kind of cool looking ones. Um, this one is called birthday cake. It's Oreo, it's got cream cheese frosting. I have high hopes. Hopefully they didn't ruin it with too much cream cheese? I don't know. Maybe it's the type of cream cheese that they use. I always hate their cream cheese. I think that has cream cheese too. It's supposed to be cotton candy. I have really, really low hopes for that one. Um, I think this one has a peanut butter cookie. So I'm kind of excited on this. The richness of it I'm not too happy about right now because I know I'm not going to need all that. This one I have the highest hopes for. <laughs> And I cleaned out my car and organized it as best I could. So I got this, I found it, I washed it, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and just cut all four of them at once. Ah. That is really hard to cut. That's too dense. I mean, it's Twix inspired, I think, so. I'm not mad about that, but I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to be that dense, and they never are, but they almost always are. <sighs> yeah, see, it's 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 stuck on there. I uh, actually kind of put it. I broke the bottom of the box. I paused so I could use both hands for a sec. There's a hole in the box now, so um, that's not good. Let's see what we got here. See, that one cut like it should have. That was so easy. Why can't the rest of them be like this one? Taint the cotton candy with chocolate? 
that one's nice and also put a hole in the bottom of the box. I normally put something underneath here. Um, but wow, for as easy as that one cut, I did not expect that to go through the box. So now we've got chocolate caramel cream cheese and cotton candy to taint this Oreo with. It's kind of hard to mess that one up, but somehow they still manage. <sighs> not when, not if, but when I eat this, I'm probably going to scrape all that icing off because I'm not expecting to like it. So I've got a dense shortbread cookie. Shortbread cookies are pretty much always dense. My grandma always made them real thin, so they were easy to eat. Straight out of the gate. Strong caramel flavor. This is really good. Very chewy. I'm very happy with this. For a Twix-inspired cookie, it is pretty much spot on. Now I'm gonna go in with this muddy buddy cookie. I don't remember like what the inspiration here is. There's muddy buddies on top. It's peanut butter cookie, chocolate, ganache icing. It looks under on. I don't like the money body on top. That's just like liquid chocolate on top there, like melted chocolate. It's not bad. I would not buy it again. It is way way too moist in the center like the bottom does not really feel underdone but the entire inside of it is practically cookie dough texture very heavy peanut butter flavor which is good it's a peanut butter cookie but it's got to be something that you're in the mood for that's for sure now for the one that i am most afraid of the cotton It looks almost cake-like. Very, it, it looks like pound cake in the center. It looks very fluffy. It cut quite nicely. Okay, guys. Pray for me. I'm scared. Whoa! What? I don't taste any cream cheese. It is very heavy cotton candy flavor. That is delicious. Oh my god. Ah! I hung. There's a lot of people driving around me right now and you know what I'm doing. That was the bomb. I'm not lying, guys, when I tell you this. That is the best crumble cookie that I've ever tried from them. And I, by this point, I have tried quite a few. I think the close second to this was probably the s'mores cookie. And that one had a bit too much chocolate when I had it the first time. I bought it again recently, and it didn't quite hit the same, but this cotton candy cookie, oh my word, that just blew my mind. So, this is the second one that I was most afraid of because of the cream cheese icing. But after the cotton candy cookie, I... 
I don't think I don't think they can top that. I mean, yeah, the Oreo cookies are great, but you can't get any better than that cotton candy. Mm-hmm, yeah. I taste the cream cheese. It's not overpowering and gross. After a few bites of this, you're going to get sick of it, which is probably for the better. But it is quite flavorful. It's tasty. I'm not disappointed. This is hands down the best week that I've tried as a whole since I started reviewing and or trying crumble cookies. The energy told me it was worth it. As broke as I am. And it was not a lion. I might have to go to the hospital for some insulin after this, but it's worth it. I might have dialed it down a bit too much on the cringe factor this week or month because I don't think I posted an actual video in a month and that's why I'm doing this today. Um, I've planned things and then things would happen and I'd be busy or it just wouldn't feel right anymore. I think my biggest problem with this is like I'll end up binge eating <laughs> and then like I can't do it on camera. <laughs> no. Um, but if you're watching this, I am glad that you came. I'm going to try and get better about my camera shakiness. And my word slurs. Because I know that I run my words together the most. But I'm getting better, I promise. Especially if I post more frequently. I will be better. And you will see a whole lot more from me that is a lot higher in quality. And I will put more work into my editing, but right now that's just not going to happen. Because until further notice, I am still at risk of actually moving into my car and living in my car. And I've said this on several occasions. There's a lot that I've put up and taken down because it's just crap. And I'm still figuring out how to edit, believe it or not. So if you would like to see more like this please go ahead and give me a thumbs up or subscribe or comment just like tell me what you're looking for i'm not namely doing food reviews but that's pretty much just all i'm gonna do for the near future because that is the easiest course of action for me being a broke bitch in the ghetto i'm not really in the ghetto don't call me a bitch. Only I call me a bitch. Okay. But. I am broke. And this video is already way too long. And I'm going to have to edit this today. So that I can upload it by tonight. And be behind all the other food reviewers. So. It was nice to see y'all. I'll be back when I'm back. It might be a week. It might be two. It might be a month. I don't know. We're just going to have to see what happens because I got a lot of bills coming up. <laughs>